Now that we've got them all in position, we can start lacing them together. So you always start from the middle with your lacing. And this is where you need to open up your joining strip. This is the strip with all the Velcro on. This is really strong Velcro and this is what weatherproofs the tent when they're laced together. So this comes back over the top and makes a weathertight seal once you've laced your tent together. You need to open that up all the way down. Okay, so we've got it all opened up now. And we're going to go back to the top and we're going to do what's called Dutch lacing, which is a, a really solid way of lacing the tents together. So, yep, we're always lacing down on top of the tent and you've got your first eyelet at the top here yeah. of your joining strap and that's the, the, loop, the lacing loop nearest to the eyelet in the middle is always your first loop to go in. So you have your first loop going through your first eyelet and that makes sure that the tent's um, located into the right position. So you're always working from the top down through the tent and you're pulling that loop through and opening it up and then you're posting the next loop down through the eyelet and through its previous loop and you pull that tight. But you don't necessarily want to go back over the canopy to put the flap in place so it's good to be folding the velcro over as you're lacing down and just locating the join, the seal as you go. So make sure that you're pulling it nice and tight and once it's tight this velcro seal should really marry up and then you know you've laced it tightly enough so it ties through and through your double loop and get that seal on so these when it when it wrinkles a bit like that sometimes it just needs tucking and sort of art smoothing out inside the seal. If you get a wrinkle, that's quite often what's going on. And then you can turn it over. And I actually quite like just good old half hitches at this point, but different people use different knots. Um, a bowline's good. Half hitches I always think are really good because you can do as many of them and it sort of ties off the tail yeah. and then you don't have any sort of dangly bits and that's that's a perfectly good 